Well, the Roper Corporation in Lafayette is adding 90 jobs thanks to a multi-million dollar investment by their parent company, General Electric. Now, this afternoon, the oven and stove manufacturing company opened its doors for a tour. News Channel Line's John Madewell joins us now back from that tour. John, what prompted the investment? Well, Calvin and Latricia, GE sees the return of the housing market and the uptick in the economy. Now, company-wide, it is spending $1 billion in ramping up plants, products, and services. And $88 million went straight to the Lafayette plant. Tony Saylor lives in Somerville, but stopped this morning at the Labor Department in Lafayette. He's hoping to land a temporary job at Roper. As far as right now, the computer aspect field right now is kind of slack in my field, so I'm just needing a position right now, a job, till I can fill that void. The 40-year-old plant started adding jobs earlier this year to reach a total of 90 new jobs. The $88 million investment from GE is in a massive power press, a new line of wall ovens, and jobs. The plant manager says it shows GE's confidence in Roper and the recovering economy. But we are seeing improved uh, sales and production, as uh, particularly as new homes, new housing starts uh, continue to improve. Aletha Brooks has worked at Roper for 23 years. This investment means a lot to her. We've been able to hire people that have been laid off from work, have. Um, you know, they, some have degrees, but they can't find work right now. So we've been able to bring some of those people in here. Governor Nathan Deal dropped into the plant and thanked the workers for a job well done. He says Georgia's phase out of sales tax on energy helps companies like Roper. Energy costs are a major component in their overall cost of their product. So if we can improve their bottom line in terms of not having that extra expense, it makes their product more competitive in the world marketplace. We asked Senator Johnny Isaacson if this expansion, unemployment dropping, and trade exports increasing are a sign of national recovery. We're never going to get unemployment below 7% until we get housing construction back. Housing construction is coming back. I'm sure part of the expansion here is because GE sees that too. And Tony hopes GE sees his application and that the door opens at Roper. Now that new oven you saw under production is a smart oven. You can download an app where you can preheat, set the timer, or change the temperature all from your phone. Now the wall oven retails in a price range of $1,000 to $3,600. Calvin? Okay, thanks, John.